Hello friends, Pastor Amy here from Southgate United Methodist Church on this chilly Wednesday, October 21st. It is definitely feeling like fall out there. Uh, so today uh, I wanted to ask you if uh, if there are other, ever any days where you kind of feel kind of outside the reach of God's love or have you ever felt like uh, you, you've just you've just fallen so far outside of God's love, outside of the reach of God's love. Um, and, you know, I'll admit that there are times, there are days, there are seasons where I think I just am not worthy or I've really screwed up or maybe you felt that way too. And I realized though that in those times where we feel that way, we're really giving ourselves too much credit <laughs> because we're, we're kind of uh, not realizing how powerful and how far reaching God's love is. And, and I was kind of realizing this or revisiting this. Um, I get a, a daily email uh, devotional that has these beautiful quotes from different saints and theologians and uh, 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 spiritual people from all throughout uh, the history of Christianity. Some, some beautiful quotes. And whenever I really like one, I write one down and put it on my massive magnet board over there. And there was one today from Mechtild of Madgeburg, and I wrote it down, and it's really beautiful, so I want to share it with you. And she writes about the far reach of God's love and, and just how overflowing and abundant it is. And she writes, uh, she's from the 13th century, by the way, so she's been around a while. So I'd like to think she knows what she's talking about. Great and overflowing is the love of God that never standeth still, but floweth on forever and without ceasing, with no labor or effort, but freely and fully, so that our little vessel is full and overfull. If we do not stop the channel by our own self-will, it will never slacken in its flowing, but the gift of God will ever make our cup to run over. Um, I love how, uh, she talks about how God's love, uh, it comes without ceasing and without labor or effort that, that God's love is even effortless, that, that God doesn't even have to work hard at loving us. And I think about, uh, there are some people where it's really hard for me to love them, uh, but for God it's effortless. Um, and that there's, there's nowhere we can go and nothing that we can do that places us outside the reach of God's love. And that also makes me think of a beautiful children's story. I just read it to one of my sons last night, um, The Runaway Bunny. It's a sweet, sweet story about a little bunny talking about how he'll run away and the mama bunny saying that no matter what you do, I'm always going to uh, come after you. And it's it's just a really sweet story. Um, so I highly recommend that. That's by the same author who did uh, Good Night Moon, Margaret Wisebrow. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. So, um, you know, at those times where, you know, God's love kind of feels far away, it's more like we've, um, it's not so much that God has withdrawn love, but maybe we have somewhat how put up our own barriers or, or, um, as she, she says here, um, by our own self will, um, we, it is us who has stopped the channel in some way. So I like to think of, um, just kind of envisioning God's love enveloping us in some way, you know, kind of like a warm sweater, you know, on, on these chilly fall days or, or like a hug. Um, take a moment to, to visualize what God's love might feel like as it, it wraps you in a hug or, or, um, or an embrace or something like that as it covers you. Um, and, and to, to remember that even as the, in these times where we may be isolated from one another, isolated from friends and family, um, we are never isolated from God's love. So um, coming up this week on Friday, we've got a new episode of Jeff and Amy at the Well, uh, the podcast dropping. We'll put a link to that on the Facebook page. Uh, we're talking about uh, the sacredness of in-between times. Uh, another fancy word for it, liminal times. Uh, so these in between times, and we're, it'll be week two with our special friend, our special guest and friend Brenda Hogan. 
Um, and this Sunday, it will be week three of our series called Stranger Faith. And this week we're talking about ghosts. Are they real? Um, do spirits of human beings actually get trapped in places? And what does that mean in uh, the face of Jesus's promise of eternal life in heaven with God? And uh, what does that mean if, you know, can spirits get trapped in places if God's love can reach everybody? So, you know, th there's some conflicting uh, concepts there. So some food for thought uh, to, to think about. So um, in the meantime, uh, remember that God's love, you're never out of, out, out of the reach of God's love wherever you are or, um, or, or, or whatever straight state you are in. Um, you're never outside the reach of God's love. So remember that God does love you. And so do I. And I will see you Sunday. Take care.